Hi, um, in this video, I will demonstrate how to use a uh, lenticular sheet to see uh, 3D photos in your LCD monitor. And um, first, you will have a, a lenticular sheet from New System Company, which is a 3D 25 LPI lens. And then you will go to facec.com in uh, Google Chrome www.facec.com okay and uh, in facec.com you can choose one of the pictures then you can start the 3D photos viewer so I choose for example this one so here is the 3D photos viewer then you can use uh, the profile choose a cookie a cookie profile that means the profile information will be stored in this computer so next time you launch the browser the cookie profile will be loaded for you so you don't need to do the setting again so you create a real profile Okay, so I just close this. Okay, so you give a name to the profile, so I call it 3D display. Okay, I call it 3D display. Then you press yes. Okay, and this lens here we have uh, is a new system 3D 25R20. So I chose this. 3D 25R20 and the display properties that means the properties of your LCD display um, we have some profiles stored in the database so you try to browse the brand name and the model number so the brand we have is our Bluesonic 17 inch VG710B so I will use Neusonic just scroll through the model number 7 VG710 oops 710B okay so in case if you don't find uh, your model so you can input the width in mm and uh, pixel in your display or you can specify the ppi the pixel per inch directly in this window so after you input the information you go to the next step okay then you will choose the real port size the real port size that means the display size you want Okay, and anyway, you can change this at the real time. So we can put the lens on the screen in the middle. You can see the red line. So we just make uh, roughly the size of the red line close to the, the size of your lens. So I chose 1024 times 768. Okay, so it's pretty close. Then we can start the alignment. So in this alignment, we will have a, a image for the alignment, and then we have some adjustment. So first, we adjust the angles of the display. So we just go to the angle, and then you you can use the mouse wheel to scroll through the different angles. So you can you just put your head to the wheel in position and scroll through the mouse so to make sure that the line is parallel to the lens so you see the line is straight then we can adjust the pitch okay so when we adjust the pitch we have to make sure that the dot in the middle one two three four five six 
will change the color at the same time. So let's see how it look like. Okay, so it's pretty close. So we can put the mouse pointer on the top of the alignment image. Then you can use the mouse wheel again to make the shift on the image. Then you can see the dot in the middle change at the same time, the color. All right. Okay, so now it's pretty close. So don't forget to update the changes. So after you press the update, so you can verify it again. Okay, so it's just slightly changed. Okay. Now you can go to the samples and display some samples image to see the result. Okay. So it's pretty nice. Okay. So go to the next step and then oops oh, we forget to update okay so we update the changes now we go to the next step so we just make sure that all the information is correct save the cookie use this profile to reload the image so we will use the profile to apply the profile immediately and then we can see the image correctly displayed on the screen and for the profiles we create which is for this computer and for this lens and for this LCD display only okay if you use different lens or different LCD display you have to create a different profile thank you